got back. <laughs> oh my god, that was crazy. I don't know how we've talked ourselves into this one. Oh, there's so much water funneling oh, into dude. that thing. Oh. 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 You okay? Hello, konnichiwa. And welcome to our journey through God's crack. God. Here's how this all went down. I was recently over in Japan shooting with Kaito Matsuoka at his home break for another edit I'll be releasing soon, and he said he had a really weird wave for me. Whoa, you're wrangling. <laughs> Whoa, look at the rock you can see right there. Oh my gosh. Did you hear that, weird wave? <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> what do you think, Wado? <laughs> I think it's doable. <laughs> the story on the sign on the way down to this spot reads, A long time ago, a dying whale washed up, and several communities there fought for three days, saying that this was their place, and that this whale was theirs. Then a large bolt of lightning hit the rock, splitting it into two pieces. There's a legend that says the meaning of this is that God tells us to share. We were both kind of feeling super inspired, even though the wave itself did not look like much of a wave at all. We thinking this is doable? And after trying to talk ourselves out of it, give it one more check or just suit up? We each knew we had to at least paddle out and give it a closer look. You call it, Kaito, what do you think? Here we go. Here we go? Okay. I don't know how we've talked ourselves into this one. I'm proper shooting myself. Oh, there's so much water funneling oh, into that thing. Holy shit. It's a big one. Kaito's first attempt, I was definitely second guessing our call to come try this. I was feeling like this would all be on me if either of us got hurt, and I'd rather that person be me. So here went nothing. Okay. Get further in. Oh. They took off and I was it pushed me towards it 
Yeah. And then I was like, oh, and then it splashed. Yeah. Like, boom. I was like, oh. Man, you make all the way. That man, yeah. Oh, it's so sick. Oh my god, that's so scary. <laughs> I couldn't help but feel like the story at the top of the trail pushed us over the ledge to paddle out. As if we were meant to share that experience together, or that at some stage, this place was meant to be enjoyed like that. This experience was magical. From the trail, to the story, to the scenery. I would have been stoked on just that. But the fact that we each got in the water there and attempted to surf, of course, made it extra special. That was one of the coolest rides I've ever had, even though all I did was take off and go straight. I'd like to leave it there. Sayonara.